Hello my dear girls and boys, Leela teacher is back again with some fun learning and we are going to have fun today with our letters. And you know what children, we are going to meet a new letter. But before that, let's do some exercise. What are we going to do? Let's do deep breathing. So we are going to do deep breathing five times. Let's close our eyes and do deep breathing five times. So breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Come on children, now for the last time. Breathe in. Breathe out. Lovely. So children, to begin with, we will do our sound drill for the letters that you already know. And let's see which are those letters. So the first letter that you can see is letter A. Wow. So children, for sound drill, you first need to tell me the name of the letter and then the sound. So A says, come on children, teacher's waiting. A says, Lovely. Let's see the next letter. Letter T. Correct. T says Superb. Here comes letter P. Lovely. And P says Too good. And here is letter N. And N says Hmm. All my smart children. And here comes letter I. I says, come on children, I'm waiting for your action also. Yes, I says E. And here is letter L. Correct. L says E. Lovely. And here is letter D. And D says, come on children, I know you like to do this action. D. Superb. And here is letter F. F says, yes. And now comes letter H. And H says, too good. And here is letter O. And come on children, let's do the action and the sound for letter O. O says, oh, lovely. And now it's time to meet a new letter. And the letter that we are going to meet today is letter C. Yes. And you are going to learn the sound for letter C. And children, do you know letter C and letter K? They make the same sound. So you are going to learn the sound for letter C and for letter K through a beautiful story. And the story's name is Kathy and Kim. So once there were Two twin sisters. Do you know what is the meaning of twin? Yes, that means they both the sisters were born together. So there were two twin sisters. They looked the same. They behaved the same. And you know what? They used to wear the same dress. Yes. But their hobbies were different. The names were Kathy and Kim. So Kathy loved to run behind the butterflies. So she used to run behind and she used to catch those butterflies. And you know what? She used to draw beautiful butterflies in a book and color them. And what? After that, she also spent her time in watching the butterflies turn into the cocoon. Oh, oh, does butterfly turn into a cocoon? No, she used to watch the cocoon turn into a butterfly. Yes. And after when she used to see that, you know what she used to do? She used to click pictures with her camera. Yes. Because she would love to capture those memories. And Kim, her sister, on the other hand, you know what was her hobby? She used to love flying kites. And the 
common thing what this two used to do you know what they used to feed the ducks together in the small pond yes they loved feeding the ducks in the pond so they used to do it together and you know what while doing so they used to click pictures and one more thing children kim had a pet and you know which was that pet pet was a small kitten yes kim had a small kitten and she loved her pet kitten so when kim and kathy used to feed the duck they used to take their camera and they used to click pictures and you know what sound did the camera make the camera made the sound yes the sound for letter c and k is wow wasn't it a lovely story children and now it's time to listen to the rhyme for c and k and here it comes Catamarans flying, kites are flying, ducks are swimming. Click the pictures, click the pictures, click the pictures. Wow! Let's sing this right one more time with teacher. Catamarans flying, kites are flying, ducks are swimming. Click the pictures. Click the pictures. Click the pictures. So, children, the sound for letter C and for letter K is. So, children, you should not get confused when you are learning the words for letter C or letter K, as the sound is the same, but the words and pictures are different. So, when you are writing or learning the words for letter C. we will call it curly yes so that you don't get confused and for k you will use kk so the sound is the same but we are using different words like curly for letter c and kk for letter k and now you know to do you know the sounds for letter c and k and now you also have learned the pictures for letter c and it's time to learn to write upper case c and lower case c so first you are going to learn how to write the lower case c so children as you all know teacher will write on the card and you all are going to do sky writing that means you are going to use your pointer finger or your index finger and you are going to trace it in the sky and teacher will go to trace teacher will trace on the card so let's begin starting from up making a curve and going little up okay that's lower case c let's write it one more time curve coming down 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 and stop okay that is the lower case c and now it's time to write the upper case c yes it's the same like lower case c but only thing upper case c will start from the solid line and end to the solid line so let's begin go starting from up coming down 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 and going little up come on children one more time go coming down 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 and going up that is the upper case c now let's write the lower case c one more time go stop one more time of yes and now can you see the picture can you tell me which picture is that correct it's caterpillar one more time caterpillar correct and children you all know how to write but now it's time to do desk writing So how are we going to do the desk writing? You all are going to write on a flat surface. Teacher has this flat surface, so she will write the upper case C and the lower case C here. Let's write the upper case C first. So from the solid line, come down to the solid line, upper case C, and now let's write the lower case C. C. 
curve starting from dotted line, come down to the solid line and up. Okay, so don't forget to keep on practicing the uppercase C and lowercase C. And now it's time to learn the green words for letter C. Yes, children. So though there are difference in letter C and letter K, the words will be different. So today we are going to learn the green words for letter C. And how are you going to learn? By my turn and your turn technique. The first word is, let's see first how many sounds are there. Correct. There are one, two and three dash. That means this word is having three sounds. So let's see which are those sounds. Superb. Let's say it one more time. K -o -p -k -o -p. Superb. Now let's see the next word. Yes, this word is also having how many sounds? Correct. This word is also having three sounds. Let's see which are those sounds. K -a -p -k -a -p. Superb. Let's say it one more time. K -a -p -k -a -p. All my smart children. Let's see the next word. Wow, this word is also having three sounds. Superb. Let's see which are those three sounds. K -o -t -k -o -t. Let's learn it again. Caught. Superb. So children, you have seen and learned three green words. So please keep on practicing these three green words. Now, I have one more fun home play activity for you all. Let's see what are you all going to do at home today. Yay, wow. What are you going to do? You are going to take a round in your house and you are going to find some objects with letter C and with letter K. And when you find them, you have to tell your parents the name of the object. Isn't it fun? So you have seen so many objects with letter C and letter K. So whatever objects you find in your house, you can take that object and go to your parents and you can show them and ask them the word. If you tell them the word, they will say whether it is with C or K. Or even if you, you can say, you can ask your parents whether it is right or whether it is not. So children, this is the way you learn the different objects. Don't forget to take very good care of yourself. For now, I have to leave. But I'm sure you all are going to eat healthy food and drink lots of water. But for now, it's time for me to say goodbye.